everybody. Um, we have a decent little job to do today. So I've got the CT metering block and uh, some CT meters in this panel. So I've got to uh, I've got to prep this up and cable all this and uh, this this meter block so that this cable is going to go up up here by the mains across on the tray along the wall and then to this panel. So this panel is where our meter is going to be uh, mounted and this metering block needs to be here and cabled up so the meter guy can come and you know uh, tap onto the top of this block and put the meter on there on the panel it goes sort of up there and uh, there's a little GSM card that he puts in and it sends off the uh, building details for the hospital here so um, first up I've got a, a marking layout of this so I'll, I'll just mark it up and then uh, I'll show you where I'm up to then I've got that loosely mounted on, so I'm just going to do it up. It'll be a little hard to see, but um, this is the cover plate for that, that test block. So I just marked a line on the top top there, and uh, this this gives us our protection rating. So we can have lighter parts in here. So I'm just going to drill a hole just halfway in between the mark that I made and the the terminal hole here. I'm just going to drill them all along, and then same on the bottom. And that's pretty well it. I don't have the multi-core cable, but we'll come back when I do. <laughs> Counter sunk them all. I figure I'll give you a quick little rundown on how this, this actually works, if you fall. So basically, what we've got in here is these are coils. So the, the um, base, directionally based you've got to have them the right way so you look for the dot marks you know as long as they're all the right way there it's all good but you um this multi-core that we run is a 10 core so you've got six so two for each coil all right? and that's just a induced magnet essentially that is it's testing at and then you've got um fused voltage so if you watch follow these cables they go in they actually clip in behind here, so that's a voltage. You need you need the current and the voltage to make this work. All right, and then you've got a neutral and an earth. So um, three of the cores of this cable go into the phases. One for the neutral. There's an earth core, and then the other six hook onto these electromagnets, essentially, so sensitive electromagnets. So that cable will run up over here and down here to this test block. So on this test block, you've got the coils. So this is an electromagnet or electromagnetic sensor coil, two and three. And then you've got your voltage and your neutral. Voltage reference, it's a voltage reference because you need the voltage and the current to work out the power. And that's what the meter is reading. It's reading your kilowatt hours. Just uh, came down to check the service rules and um, check my uh, cabling. I was pretty sure it was like this, but uh, I just wanted to double check, so All right, let's go wire it up. All right, a uh, bit of a bad dog effort, I'm not going to lie. I've got my cable in. Thank you. All right, so it goes up in the back of the consumer units, oh, consumer main section, sorry, consumer units on the brain. And it comes up across, it's tucked in behind that, well, into the meter panel. The gun and uh so we'll have to strip this back and terminate it into the cts and into that little block that's hanging off because i couldn't get the ct cover out so stay tuned only recording one because this is a fucking nightmare to get undone get on camera oh god that's your cover 
cables just need to go in there. Poked it through there, you fucking goose. Okay, make that through there. Slotted screws are barbaric. Like, it's the 21st fucking century. Anything else is better. Quick. Alright, one down, six to go. Fucking time has. Down this end. And that's gonna terminate there. Alright, so that's how that ended up looking. Bit of a busy morning, but I'm back to it now. It's not the neatest back here, but you know, you get the gist. This side is for the meter, so I've left them. Left him as much as he wants. There's plenty to go up and up and over wherever he wants to go. They typically will put it above here or maybe on this side. So I mean, he's got enough cable to go anywhere on that board, really. And uh, right, so that's that's that finish. The meter's going to go there somewhere, obviously. All right, so the last little thing to do in here now. You've got to um, double insulate these, so I, you get some PVC sleeving, which I'll show you in a second, and then we can uh, hook these up into the into the fuse holders for the protection for the meter metering cable. So I'll show you that in a sec. Welcome back, everyone. All done. So um, the meter guys came. He's installed the meter here. Um, that's the little GSM aerial that sends off the data to the electricity company for your billing. And um, I finished this off for him earlier. I just open it up. Just bear with me. Right. So this is what the innards ended up looking like. So he just came out of the top, stripped all my cable away, and just went straight in. Just jammed it in. Didn't give a fuck. So got the earth bonded up there. Uh, so the panel's fine, and that's just a bit of a service loop. And yeah, so not the neatest install ever, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose, in this case. Right, so 
Yeah, that's a CT test block. Um, if you've got any questions, slap them in the comments and I'll uh, answer them as best I can. Now, I thought I needed the PVC sleeving here, sort of double insulation they, they like. Um, he wanted it inside as well, so I had five meters of the stuff and uh, I don't know where my off cut went. I had five meters, I bought five meters the other night and that's what I had left. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, fucked up all my nice neat shit and uh, just uh, double insulated it just before it goes into the box there. So keeps it double insulated while it's inside there. Well, I can sort of see the, the reasoning, but yep. Pop the fuses back in. They're a 10 amp fuse. 10 amp and uh, the, the earth terminal here that got supplied with the panel uh, where is it here? it's got a broken terminal well it's a terminal that doesn't close the one on the bottom there just you can just spin it forever so luckily I had one in the car it's just a push push fit style one but I like them a little better anyway to be honest and yeah this is um once this goes on, this will all be inaccessible. So this video is all we're ever gonna see of it. So thanks for watching, hope you learned something.